ni mwanafamilia mpya ambaye anayejiunga na Simba Sports Club kama mdhamini kati ya wadhamini tuliokuwa nao Simba Sports Club Mkataba baina ya Knaf na Simba Sports Club ni mkataba wa mwaka mmoja wenye nafasi ya kuendelea zaidi pale pande mbili ambazo ni Simba na Knaf zitakaporidhia na kukubaliana kuendelea kwa miaka mingi zaidi. Lakini vile vile mkataba huu una thamani ya shilingi milioni mbili na kadri tutakavyokuwa tunaingia mkataba mpya itakuwa ni nafasi ya kuongeza zaidi udhamini wao. Kampuni hii ya Knauf tutakwenda kuisikiliza kiundani kabisa nitakapomkaribisha mkurugenzi wa kanda B Yusa aje kutueleza kiundani kabisa inahusika na kitu gani na inazalisha ama kuuza kitu gani. Lakini sema tu kwamba sisi Simba Sports Club tunayo furaha kubwa hii leo kumkaribisha Knauf kuwa miongoni mwa wadhamini wa Simba Sports Club na kama ilivyo ada jukumu letu ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunayashawishi makampuni mengi kuja kuwekeza ndani ya Simba tunawavutia wadhamini wengi kuja kutudhamini kwa sababu hivi sasa brand yetu Afrika ni kubwa na kila kampuni ingetamani na ingependa kuja kufanya kazi na Simba Sports Club. Kampuni ya Knauf ni kampuni ambayo imejizolea umaarufu mkubwa duniani ukizalisha bidhaa bora za ujenzi hasa kwenye finishing na kwa kuwa ni kampuni kubwa na sisi tukawa tuko tayari kuambatana nayo kwenye msafara wa maendeleo baina yao Knaf na si Simba Sports Club. Kwa hiyo hii leo rasmi tumeingia mkataba huu rasmi kuanzia hii leo na tutakuwa nao kwa mwaka mmoja lakini tunayo nafasi kubwa ya wao na sisi kuendelea na kudumu katika udhamini huu kwa sababu sisi Simba Sports Club litakuwa ni jukumu letu kumpa na kumuonesha thamani ya fedha ambayo amewekeza Simba Sports Club ili aweze kuendelea kudhamini ndani ya klabu yetu. Baada ya kusema hayo, nichukue nafasi hii sasa kumkaribisha B Yusa Bushoff ambaye ni mkurugenzi kanda wa Knauf Tanzania aje atueleze kiundani inawezekana kuna wengine hii ndo mara ya kwanza tunasikia Knauf ama tumekuwa tukiiona lakini hatujui exactly inahusika na kitu gani kwa hiyo tutegi sikio hivi sasa ili tuweze kumjua mwana familia mpya wa Simba anajihusisha na biashara gani anajihusisha na bidhaa gani na anafanyaje kwenye bidhaa zake bi yusa your time is now thank you very much member Appreciate of the press they want to hear why something good from now okay. so you're welcome thank you sante so messi kiel bonyoka yo eh yo ni oxford so just be here at the okay. middle yeah uh, so I change again Hmm. Okay, so again, welcome. Thank you for joining us um, this afternoon. A special welcome to our chairman, uh, to my team. I think something, f for instance, also the good workings that Knaf have had <coughs> with the Simba team. We really appreciate the interactions that we had after the last few weeks to put this together that we will experience today. So, Knaf as a strategic investor, Simba as a household name. I see very very good partnership between these two brands on how we can move forward in Tanzania and build uh, build on Tanzania. So the similarities between the two brands, the similarity between Simba and Knaf, Knaf enters a market as a building manufacturing company by doing training. So that training is for upliftment, education as well as brand awareness. So that is key to us. We have got high aspiration to become a very very big brand in Africa and that's very similar 
to your ambition to be one of the biggest brands um, in Africa. We want to grow in Tanzania and we want to grow in East Africa. And again, similarities between Knaf and Simba, we've got very strong family roots. So you might today wonder who's Knaf. I'm sure before you have bought maybe a product of Knaf, but maybe you don't know the brand name. So Knaf is the world leader in building materials. It's a German company. We stand for innovation, quality, and sustainability. And I believe, Chia, it's very much the same what this club and its fans stand for. So the question is, is Knaf in Tanzania or are we an outside company? Because today you have a Muzungu sitting, <laughs> sitting in front of you. We are proudly Tanzanian. As Chia said to me earlier on, we mine in Kilwa and on your way to Matwara in Mukuranga, on the right hand side stands a very big plant that is our German plant. So we can now make and produce international standard products in Tanzania for Tanzania and East Africa. So we are not also here to keep you all day with a lot of talking. So this strategic partnership, I believe, has got benefit for Knaf, definitely. I hope also for Simba. And as the banner behind me says, let's build on us. Thank you very much. So I'm going to hand over to Crystal. Asante sana. Shukran. Boshov. In the middle. Hmm? Musical chairs. So you get up and then I move. Asante Ilse Boshoff, mkurugenzi wetu wa Kanda Afrika Mashariki. Asante Amedali, asante Mwenyekiti. Kwa hiyo kama alivyoelezea mkurugenzi wetu mtendaji wa Afrika Mashariki, Knauf ni kampuni ambayo ipo dunia nzima. Tupo nchi zaidi ya tisini duniani. Tuna viwanda zaidi ya tatu duniani. Na kama alivyoelezea kwamba tuna kiwanda kipya cha Kijerumani ambacho kipo Mkuranga unapoelekea Mtwara. Na kile kiwanda Knauf wamewekeza Tanzania bilioni 268 za kitanzania. Kwa hiyo uwekezaji waliofanya Knauf walianza 2014 mpaka leo. Fedha ambayo Knauf wamewekeza Tanzania ni bilioni 268 za kitanzania na tutakuwa tuna kiwanda kikubwa Afrika Mashariki na kiwanda kikubwa ukanda wa Kusini mwa Jangwa la Sahara. Leo tunaendelea na upanuzi wa kiwanda chetu ambapo kitakamilika mwakani mwezi wa saba na kikikamilika tutakuwa tuna hichi kiwanda kipya ambacho kinazalisha bidhaa za Kijerumani, Tanzania na pia ni kiwanda kikubwa kwa kusini mwa la Sahara. Tunaipongeza serikali ya Tanzania kwa uwekezaji ambao unafanyika. Tumeona miradi mingi ya kimaendeleo. Shukrani sana kwa Mheshimiwa Rais Mama Samia Sulu Hassan. Uh, wawekezaji wanazidi kuja Tanzania. Na sisi kama uh, wawekezaji pia kwenye sekta ya ujenzi tunaona nafasi zikizidi kutokea. Kuoka kiwanda kipya ambacho kinakuja mwakani tunaona nafasi ya kukua zaidi Tanzania na tunaona nafasi ya kuzidi kuwekeza Tanzania. Na tukizungumzia sasa sisi kama Knauf, Knauf tunazalisha bidhaa ambazo zinatumika kwenye kufanya finishing ya nyumba. Tunazalisha gypsum board, tunazalisha gypsum plasters, tunazalisha metal profile kwa ajili ya kufanya decoration za nyumba na pia tunazalisha bidhaa nyingine mbalimbali mbali, kama hizi mnazoziona hapa hapa Tanzania. Kwa hiyo tukiangalia uhitaji ambao upo Tanzania kwa tafiti mbalimbali zilizofanyika mfano Tanzania kuna uhaba wa nyumba milioni tatu, lakini pia kuna uhitaji wa nyumba laki mbili kila mwaka. Na ule uhitaji wa nyumba unahitaji pia bidhaa bora. Na hapa ndipo Knauf tunapokuja. Kwa hiyo tunakuja Knauf kwa ajili ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunaleta bidhaa bora Tanzania, bidhaa zenye hadhi ya Kijerumani Tanzania ambazo zinazalishwa na Watanzania na tunawapa Watanzania. Asante sana. Ndugu zangu waandishi wa habari eh hususan wana Simba kama hivyo niliwahi kusema kwamba sisi maisha yetu ni Simba. Tunaposema maisha yetu ni Simba maana yake tunao wajibu mkubwa 
wa kutumia bidhaa za simba. Kwa hiyo tuna maji ya simba, tuna vinywaji vya simba, tuna mtandao wa simba, tuna kampuni ya kubeti kubashiri ya simba. Na sasa tumewaletea kampuni ya vifaa vya ujenzi hasa kwenye finishing vya simba. Hivi sasa Knauf na bidhaa zote ambazo zinazalishwa na Knauf ni bidhaa za Simba Sports Club. Kwa hiyo mwana Simba anayehitaji kujenga ama mwana Simba anayejenga finishing yake itafanywa na Simba Sports Club kwa maana ya Knauf. Kwa hiyo kwa sasa mwana Simba ambaye anajenga huna sababu ya kuanza kufikiria nifanye finishing na kitu gani gypsum body ni kanunue wapi sijui kitu gani ni kanunue wapi sasa hivi kuanzia hii leo tarehe 16 hii uanze kutambua ya kwamba unapohitaji kujenga unapohitaji kufanya finishing your solution ni Knauf Tanzania bidhaa zako za kumalizia nyumba yako zinapatikana Knauf Tanzania na ikiwezekana ikiwezekana Romi eh, mtu ambaye atakuja kununua na akajitambulisha mwana Simba na akaonesha uthibitisho na Simba kwa kadi aidha ya, ya ya wanachama ama kadi ya ushabiki aweze kufanyiwa kufanyiwa punguzo ili afurahie mema ya Simba Sports Club yote hayo yanawezekana. Kwa hiyo wana Simba tunapaswa ku, 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 kutambua hilo kwanza sasa kwamba tumepata kampuni ya ujenzi. Lakini kama haitoshi sisi kama Simba tumejiridhisha na ubora wa bidhaa zao. Isingewezekana tukaingia mkataba na na, 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 na kampuni ya vifaa vya ujenzi ambavyo ukijenga leo kesho kifaa kimeharibika. Kabla ya kuingia mkataba huu kwanza tumejiridhisha vifaa vyao ni vya uhakika vifaa vyao ni sawa sawa na tukajiridhisha ya kwamba bidhaa zinazozalishwa na Knauf ni number one Afrika Mashariki na Kati kwao tukasema hii ni kampuni ambayo inaendana na standard yetu ya ubora kwa ni vema tukaingia nao mkataba we are now approaching the end of our prayers and uh, for the sake of Nauf and the Simba Sports Club I would like to say thank you very much for your coming we really appreciate and tunaomba ushirikiano wenu mkubwa Kimombo kina timing yake. Watakiwa kupitiliza masaa. Eh, natosha leo itanguliza ile. Sije kaisha. Tunashukuru sana. Najua wengi mna kiu na shauku kubwa ya kutaka kufahamu maandalizi ya shughuli yetu ya tarehe 19. Ila niseme tu kwamba leo ilikuwa ni mahsus kwa ajili ya kumtangaza mwana familia mpya wa Lunyas na mipango mingine yote kuhusiana na tarehe 19 Mungu akijalia tuanze kuonana kuanzia kesho kwa ajili ya kuelezea ratiba, mipango na mipangilio yote kuelekea siku hiyo. Lakini jambo muhimu ambalo ningependa kuwasisitiza wana Simba ni kwamba tuendelee kununua tiketi. Jambo ambalo ningependa kuwasisitiza eh? Nyanza kwenye English. Ah, we subutu. <laughs> Niko same nicheke. Kwa hiyo ndugu zanguni mengi maandalizi kuhusiana na mchezo wetu wa tarehe 19 tutapata nafasi zaidi ya kuzungumzia kuanzia kesho. Leo hii ilikuwa ni siku ya kumkaribisha Knauf katika klabu yetu ya Simba na tungependa hii ndio iwe habari kubwa kwa siku ya leo ili kumpa thamani ndamini wetu na kama ambavyo tumeeleza pale awali ya kwamba e, mkataba huu ni wa mwaka mmoja lakini kama akiridhika nasi ataongeza miaka mingine kwa hiyo lazima tumpe hiyo nafasi ya kuanza kuridhika kuanzia siku ya kwanza kwa hiyo leo ni Simba na Knauf na yanayohusu kuhusiana na tarehe 19 tutayazungumza kwa kujimwaya mwaya kuanzia kesho na siku ya Alhamis tuna siku mbili za kuweka maneno heavy 
kuanzia kesho Alhamis na Ijumaa kuelekea Jumamosi yetu.